Today, we will be reading Scary Monsters Eight Red Socks. One stormy night, as I tried to sleep, the scary monsters began to creep. I saw them lurking in the gloom, in every corner of my room. Some were big, and some were tall. Some were fat, and some were small. One had horns, and one had claws, and one had giant big hairy paws. When the wind outside began to blow, they put on a monster show. The shadows danced around my bed, and on the ceiling overhead. And as I watched these monsters play, I became more and more afraid. The lightning flashed and the thunder roared. Then I heard something at my door. No time to escape, I had to hide. The thing at the door was coming inside. I was under the covers. I shut my eyes tightly, afraid of the horrible monster sight. How long were its teeth, how green would it be? This king of the monsters, who would come after me? Then I heard a voice that I knew quite well. It wasn't a monster, I could tell. Suddenly things didn't seem so bad. I uncovered my head, and there was my dad. He said we're having quite a storm tonight, just checking to see if you're all right. Because sometimes monsters prowl around when the thunder roars and the rain pours down. I remember they scared me many nights when I was a boy about your size. Until my dad, your grandpa Joe, told me something I think you should know. There's only one thing that monsters dislike. This will keep them away on a dark, stormy night. This isn't a light, and it isn't a lock. Scary monsters hate red socks. They simply can't stand them. They just won't appear whenever a pair of red socks is near. So if you're ever troubled by monsters that creep, if they frighten you and won't let you sleep, remember these words. Do as I say, and these scary monsters will go away. Then he patted me on the head like dads do, tucked me in, and left the room. But as quick as a flash, I was out of the bed, searching through the drawers for socks colored red. I put a pair on, just like he said, turned out the lights, crawled back into bed. The thunder and lightning and rain kept on. But there were no more monsters. They were all gone. The big ones, the fat ones, the tall and the small, had all disappeared with their horns, claws, and paws. Not one could be found. I sighed with relief. Then I snuggled down and went to sleep. Now at night, when the wind blows hard and the lightning flashes in the yard. And the thunder roars, and the rain pours down, and the scary monsters go creeping around. I don't worry, I'm not afraid. I know what to do to keep them away. I'll tell you my secret. Believe it or not, scary monsters hate red socks. All right, this is the end of the story. If you enjoyed this, leave a comment, or if you didn't, leave one as well. It doesn't matter if it's good or bad, just give me something. That's all I ask. I hope you enjoyed this little story, but this is the end of all the glory.